What's up everybody? So today in this video, what we're going to be going through is Airtable's new feature, the sections and the views. Now this is going to be a real game changer for those of you with some pretty complex bases, uh, especially just complex tables where you have just a ton of views. This is going to help you organize those. And especially if you have, again, especially if you have automations set up with like Zapier, where you're using views for that, you can sort of hide those from your normal views that you use for work so nobody messes with them. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize.is, and what we do is we have business owners probably just like you, help you optimize your information systems. So that's stuff like Airtable for asset management, a CRM, project trackers, uh, Asana for project management, or Slack for communication. We help you set up the systems to help you free yourself from like a hamster wheel from all those day-to-day -day tasks and everything. So if you're interested in that, you can check out the link in the description, request a consultation from me or someone on my team, but without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So as you can see, we are here in a project tracker. And so for this, we don't need these apps or automations open over here. But what you can see here is this is just a real simple project tracker for client projects. Now, so in this database, we have three tables. There's clients, which are linked to client projects, which are design projects. And then those design projects have correlated tasks. So in this, what we might want to be giving clients is we maybe we want to give them a bunch of client views and but we don't want to always be seeing those over here so if i move myself over here to this corner uh not quite that big but if i move myself over here we'll see out pops this create a section and this says it's a new feature and i believe it's also only available on pro plans last i checked now this was like yesterday so maybe they'll add it to the free version and they also just added this gantt but basically these are kind of like folders. Now there's no nesting of the folder, so you can only have like a folder one level deep. But basically what you're just gonna do is you're gonna click create a section. And so you can click that and then up here you'll be able to see view section and more. So it automatically creates these two sections. So more is just all of the ones that are you haven't put in a different section yet. Um, but if you were doing this for maybe your clients, you would want to create a view and so we'll, we'll create one for a client, maybe two for a client, that way you can see what that would look like. So if I come out here, I want to create one for Cube Systems Corporation, and I can come over here and add a grid view where this is their view, and then we'll filter this so that they, and this is similar to what the Stacker app does, except they let you like edit data, but we would filter a client view by theirs. So now this is their projects. These are, these are their projects. And then we're gonna call, double click on that and rename it. We're going to say these are client views. So now what we can do is we can take Cube System Corporation. We can put it up here into the client views. And then now we can come up here and we can, we'll duplicate this one to get more than one view in here and I'll show you how it collapses and everything. So this next one is going to be, we're gonna to try to find one with multiple projects. So it looks like that's the only, only one with multiple projects, but swipe smart. So if we come back up here and rename this view, we can do that like that and then we can refilter this by swipe smart. So now we have two client views over here and if you just wanna minimize these, you can click on this and it will minimize them. But Keep in mind, so like you might have done that, but you see, why isn't this one like in a folder? That one's closed and that one's open. The key here is that you're in this swipe smart view right here. So if you just click out of that view, it'll also roll, like sort of roll those up and hide them. So same there with that one. Like we can see that one is in the more, uh, the more section, but now like we can create more sections we can create more sections in here. So this one is the more section, but you can create more. So this is like maybe internal team views. And so say you were assigning these and you wanted to make some personal views for team members, then what you could do is you could come over here and like for the project lead or the project team, you could filter by the collaborator and give everybody their own personal view. That way they can just see their own personal, like their tasks, especially in this tasks table but they could also see their projects. So that's the basics of the views sections over here. Now, if you want to delete one, I right click on that and then I can come over here and click delete. So if you, are you sure you want to delete this section views then this section will be moved to the more section. So more is just kind of like 
all of the ones that you don't have in a different section. Uh, so if we delete that, we'll be able to expand more over here and see that there's Swipe Smart and Cube Systems Corporation. So if you have any questions, I'd love you to throw them in the comments. But if you enjoyed this video, then you'd probably enjoy this video right up here. And it's all about how to make Airtable forms. So it goes all into this form view right here. And it's really just going to give you the in-depth dive on how to use them, how to do conditional logic in there and just how to get more out of your Airtable forms. So I hope you enjoyed this short, quick video on the sections in Airtable. And without further ado, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.